Hey guys, Crypto Sunday, and I got a bit of a cold, so it'll be a brief video. Uh, but it's a green week again, uh, seven thousand up on last week. Uh, this is sort of mainly Bitcoin and Ethereum, a bit of a mixed bag on the rest. Uh, but a little bit of news: uh, Tesla dumping seventy five percent of their uh, Bitcoin holding, sort of sometime in Q two. So maybe one of the uh, Fairly big drops was sort of partly them selling in sort of May time, maybe. Um, so they sold it for $936 million. So it's a fair, uh, fair amount. And yeah, there's sort of various people looking over their accounts as to sort of trying to guess exactly what price they sold at and sort of how they'll, how they'll record it and everything. So it was a little bit of a, an interesting article by Bloomberg. Um, I did think sort of coming to uh, coming to the bottom, um, people do seem to have sort of brushed over this comment. Uh, we were concerned about the overall liquidity of the company given the COVID shutdowns in China. So yeah, people are con sort of concentrating on just the selling Bitcoin, but sort of sounds on sounds as if a little bit of concern over Tesla themselves. But uh, yeah, that's sort of. One of the last big holders out. Uh, I think he's been criticised by uh, Michael Saylor, who is sort of basically the last big holder. So, or in public companies and large private companies. So, yeah, interesting. Um, and then Ethereum does it be doing well uh, coming up to the merge? People are sort of taking. Uh, Ethereum off exchanges and sort of partly putting it into the uh, staking contract that's going up in value, going up in um, in amount of Ethereum locked. Uh, but people are also just buying it and holding it, it seems. So uh, the amount on exchanges has dropped uh, from 21 million by 10% in just the last five days. So it's interesting. They're not reporting uh, decentralized exchanges, but that's a hell of a lot amount to uh, reduce from just uh, centralized exchanges in five days. So, yeah, pretty good. Um, the change in ETH on exchanges experienced the largest one day increase, um, 432,000 to 249,000. So... Interesting. People are uh, sort of bullish on the merge. Basically, you can see the uh, the beacon chain has now got to thirteen million. Yeah, thirteen point one million. So all good, really. We'll see if it goes well. Been a long time coming. So yeah, four percent up on the Bitcoin. Sort of steadily moving up. I still think with the uh, rate rise and potential sort of. GDP numbers uh, could be a recession for the US. Um, I think we've probably got another leg down, but we'll see. Um, Ethereum, 16% up. As I say, that's doing well. Um, Cardano, not doing too bad either, 11% up. Uh, Solana is down ever so slightly, basically flat. So not too good. Chainlink, uh, just under 5%. Power Ledger and XRP pretty much flat. Um, Kronos up three percent, uh, but they are knocking the uh, free Netflix and Spotify on the head, so that's a little bit annoying. Um, I think I've got three months left on my uh, card staking, and yeah, I'm thinking of sort of maybe switching that out to another coin. Basically, obviously, I'm selling at a sort of 60% loss, but if you're buying something else that is also at 60% loss, then it's not really sort of crystallising a loss as such. It's just swapping out. Uh, Kronos hasn't sort of dropped terribly more than uh, my other altcoins. So, yeah, it doesn't seem the worst move, uh, sort of getting less bullish on them, even though they have got, they say, 50 million users now. Um, just the sort of Kronos chain and the NFTs and that sort of thing just don't seem as as promising. Seems like sort of doing it for the sake of it, basically. Um, basic attention token down, uh, in net computer down 5%, and Audius down 8%. So 
not seen any news on uh, any of those. Just sort of trading, I would guess. And then, yeah, the uh, 3X Cardano doing pretty well with Cardano's rise. So, yeah, interesting. Leave your uh, thoughts in the comments below. What do you think? Uh, do you think we've got one last leg down with the uh, interest rate rise and GDP? Or any more sort of liquidations? Or do you think we're bottomed? So, yeah, like and subscribe and see you soon.